Allegedly, Tesla is planning the world's largest factory for electric car batteries in Grünheide at Giga Berlin, and the RBB has now received details about the company's plans. Accordingly, Tesla is looking for some unusual job profiles for its Grünheide battery location. Apparently, Tesla wants to hire 1,000 people for the battery factory at, uh, at the Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or electric vehicle coverage. So according to RBB, the U.S. electric car manufacturer Tesla is planning a battery factory with around 1,000 employees at Giga Berlin in Grünheide. The RBB found out today on Monday from industry circles. Because the battery industry in Germany is not yet well developed, skilled workers are difficult to find in the industry. Tesla, therefore, wants to entice people from other industries who are familiar with individual production steps of battery factories or other similar. Tesla recruiters, according to RBB, are looking for cigarette rollers, among other things. Funny, right? It's interesting. Tesla looking at other industries. For example, pharmaceutical employees could be deployed in powder processing of Tesla batteries. In addition, employees from um, can other places can manufacture in Grünheide they could take care of the casting uh, of the batteries. Uh, according to the industry insiders, Tesla recruiters are even looking for cigarette rolls. So far, the company has only produced the new batteries in a kind of pilot project in Fremont, California. You probably have heard me reporting the Cato Road project where Tesla is uh, test, uh, producing the 4680 batteries. According to industry insiders, the Americans are planning mass production in Grünheide at Giga Berlin. Up to 20 gigawatt hours of electrics, electricity are to be packed in batteries there every year, RBB reports. But so far, no concrete construction plans for the battery factory yet. However, the Grünheide battery factory is still far from being dry. The Federal Ministry of Economics has allowed uh, individual plans with which Tesla can uh, search for employees, but concrete construction plans have not yet been received by any authority. So it's kind of, uh, well, it's known that it's going to be, but it's kind of in the air so far. It is therefore not clear whether and when it can be built and when the first batteries will be ready from Gigafactory Berlin. The exact location are also still unknown. According to industry insiders, the factory is to be built in the southeast of the 300-acre Tesla property. However, it is uncertain whether um, Tesla will, uh, the battery factory will come to the warehouse that was requested shortly before Christmas, if you remember, I reported about that, and considerable modifications would be necessary for this if Tesla uses that warehouse, which is the three times of soccer fields, three soccer fields, that's huge. At the same time, the car factory that has already been applied for uh, the shell of which is almost finished at Giga Berlin, is still not approved. The final permit hasn't come. According to the Environment Minister Axel Vogel, Tesla hopes that the state environment agency will issue the final decision in February. Some people say the final decision may even come at the end of, uh, sometimes in March. Now, Tesla is aiming twice the range with new batteries. That's what RBB says. Tesla apparently has high hopes for its self-developed batteries. Tesla hopes that the new energy storage devices will enable ranges of up to 800 kilometers for electric trucks. Most other electric cars currently have a range of around 400 kilometers. 800 kilometers is like more than 500 uh, miles per uh, per range, my five mile, 500 miles. But the new battery should not only be used for the drive. Tesla also wants to install them as an integral part of the body, including in the Y Tesla Model Y in Grünheide. Thanks to their weight and size, they should make the body stiffer and more stable. So that's the positive thing. 
a new manufacturing process should make it possible to produce them cheaper and more environmentally friendlier than previous car batteries. Tesla is also betting on using its battery technology not only in cars and trucks, but also in domestic solar systems. This is something new and big and important for Tesla because we know that Tesla Solar, Tesla Energy, and similar projects are picking up. In fact, today I just learned that in Australia, um, Tesla uh, Powerwalls will... Um, support and uh, provide energy for several uh, residential uh, neighborhoods in Queensland. I forgot the name of the city, but uh, it's I'm mentioning this because Tesla batteries will be used not only for cars and Tesla semi-truck, uh, but also in its solar um, Tesla's solar projects. Speaking of semi-truck, I reported that several days ago, Tesla is moving ahead, hiring people for semi-truck and uh, production is going to take place in uh, uh, Sparks, Nevada at Tesla's first gigafactory. That's another positive news. In the meantime, in uh, elsewhere, uh, since I'm talking about gigafactories, Tesla's uh, Austin gigafactory is making huge uh, improvements uh, things are going well and uh, a couple of days ago our friends uh, locally like Joe Techmeyer and my other friend uh, reported that now there is also the place of battery factory at uh, Austin Gigafactory it is now for sure that Tesla's Austin Gigafactory is also going to have a specific building for the battery factory and that building is being already built and uh, we're going to see these uh, Tesla's uh, self-made batteries, 4680 batteries, coming out of basically uh, from each Gigafactory. We haven't heard any news from Tesla Giga Shanghai in terms of battery manufacturing, but I think uh, eventually we will see Tesla's um, Giga, uh, Giga Shanghai factory uh, producing its own batteries because it looks like every location will have its own battery manufacturing and i think maybe who knows in several years if tesla makes so much so many batteries uh, it may not need uh, panasonic or sk innovation or cattle um, but who knows uh, the uh, demand is growing it will all be dependent on the demand in the meantime tesla is looking to hire 1000 people from different industries including cigarettes and uh, cigarette rollers and uh, um, the pharmaceutical industry as Tesla is going to produce its own batteries due to the shortage of uh, people. Tesla is looking for uh, people from other industries. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about Tesla's Giga Berlin battery pro pro uh, project and the plans. Uh, let's continue the discussion in the comments section below. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Please subscribe to our channel. Join our community for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news coverage and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV coverage. I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you and have a wonderful rest of the day. See you soon.